oftentimes patients come in with a feeling of a lump in their throat and they might not have heartburn or indigestion. And when we look at the vocal cords, we can see that there is um, some swelling or inflammation in that area. And that swelling and um, inflammation actually creates the feeling that there's something there that you can't swallow or that you need to clear your throat quite a bit. Um, sometimes people develop hoarseness related to that. Acid that comes out of the stomach and spills over into the, um, into the larynx, into that area, can leave behind that type of swelling and irritation for, for several days. Um, the reflux issue is often not associated with heartburn or indigestion because um, people have it frequently at nighttime when they're lying down. Um, so treating the reflux uh, can help with uh, throat irritation and hoarseness and throat clearing. It does take a little bit of time, sometimes a few weeks on medication before you start to notice improvement and then um, continued management of, um, of the reflux problem. And if you're still having reflux issues despite all the recommendations, then it's often a good idea to get a gastroenterologist involved. Um, they can look down further at the source of the problem and see if we can eliminate why you're having the reflux issue. Hoarseness or any problem that lingers for more than a couple of weeks that doesn't have another explanation should really be evaluated. You want to rule out problems that could be more concerning, um, a mass or a growth or some sort of problem with the vocal cords. Taking the steps to correct the problem, it's usually um, something people value because they notice a big difference in their chronic cough or the, the daily feeling like there's really something that you can't swallow. It has become such a problem that um, often they might wake up at night feeling like they're choking or having um, acid um, burning in their throat. Some things that make acid reflux into the throat worse are um, eating too close to bedtime. So you really shouldn't have anything to eat or drink within a few hours of lying down. And it's helpful to keep your head elevated when you sleep. Um, so getting a little wedge under your back and, and, and helping to keep gravity on our side and keep that acid down. Um, certain foods can make it worse. Smoking, alcohol, those types of things make it worse. And then coffee and tea and some of the things that we all really like. So moderating those things and trying to reduce um, as many insults um, can make a difference.